In this section, we will introduce the bagging concept, which stands for bootstrap aggregate. Previously with bootstrapping, we saw that we can create a synthetic data set by just throwing random samples from our original data set. This is all nice, but what is the application of this to machine learning? We will specifically see the effect of bootstrapping on the bias variance decomposition. Let's remember this one more time. With this decomposition, we can write our total error in terms of bias square plus variance plus an noise term. Here with the application of bootstrapping, we can reduce this variance term here. Let's explain our algorithm. We start with a data set with n samples in it. Then we apply bootstrapping. With the bootstrapping, we separate this data set into m different random samples with replacement, which we will call the DMs here. And these may have a smaller number of data points if desired. Afterwards, we will train m models, FMs, on this sample data set. To get the final predictions, we can either take the average for regression problems, or we can just take the voting for classification problems. By randomly subsampling the dataset and also by applying this averaging approach, we can to a certain degree try to capture and reduce the variance due to the dataset selection. So it refers to this second term here. So we have a chance to reduce this second term. But this effect is conditional. It only works with the models that are unstable. This means that these models can have some dramatic changes even for small changes in the dataset. Some examples of this type of models are decision trees and neural networks. A model that this doesn't work for is k nearest neighbors. Now we've seen how to apply bootstrapping and begging together. Now we can ask how different are these data sets? To answer this question, we can assume that we have an original data set with size n, and we will draw bootstrap samples from this, again with the size of n. The probability of any particular point being missed in this bootstrapping process can be written like this. In this equation, 1 over n is the probability of selecting a point from our original data set, so it is 1 over n. 1 minus this is the probability of missing that point from our original data set. And as we are doing this n times with the bootstrapping here, we are going to have the power of n here. A fun calculus exercise here shows that when n is going to infinity, this can be written as 1 over e, and this can be approximately written as 0 0.3678. If we can phrase this another way, we can say that every bootstrap data set contains about 63% of all the data points. So most of the data is shared amongst all the models. If you're interested in seeing this derivation here, you can check out this link. Let's talk about one more interesting concept, out of back error. Back models have a natural way to evaluate generalization. When we are calculating the error for a data point, we can use a model that did not see this data point during the training. We call this out of back error. So for each model, we train models with the data points in the back, but we make their we get their predictions for the data points that are out of the back. So that, that were not used for training that model. So this gives us a Real good generalization uh, evaluation of that model. Begging has a nice uh, scikit-learn interface. We can easily import that function and use use in our coding uh, examples. It's called Begging Classifier, and it accepts a Bayes estimator. Here we can pass a Bayes estimator such as decision tree. Then we uh, have this number of estimators parameter that we can pass. And we also have this max samples parameter, which decides the size of our bootstrap samples. Here we can uh, either enter a number or we can just enter a fraction here. Also bootstrap parameter here, which can be true or false. And the out of the back scoring here again, we can uh, either calculate it or we just skip that. And the full interface is larger. How does this work with the trees? Uh, actually, this is exactly the same for trees. So this begging, when we apply with trees, what happens is that our models just become trees. And that's all. The rest of the algorithm just works like that. 